Team Belth here with Dog Shadow Gaming, bringing you another Let's Play on the channel that always lives to game and games to live. And here we are with Battletech, our seventh in the episode and our next storyline quest. Now I've done a couple of quests in between, um, all the crappy quests, so you only get like the main storyline ones, um, just because they're pretty boring, the little ones in between. Uh, so what's happened from the last one? Well, in the last episode, we freed some uh, nobles and some comrades from a prisoner of war campaign and there was a big speech about how disgusting they were from doing all the naughty things they did to them in the prison and uh, on this one we're taking the fight to them uh, we are on the front lines with um, the little princess uh, Kamea or Kamea and we, well, let's, let's read it and find out. So, the Restoration Army is already entrenched and Panzer's surface. We're gaining ground against the Dictor Directorate, but we can't allow them to call in reinforcements. With the support of the second Decimus Fusilars, you will destroy the Dic Directorate. I keep going to say dictatorship because um, that's what I think of them. Directorate held dropship control center, cutting off their ability to navigate Panzer's orbital debris field. Cool. The planet's debris field is a real oddity and ha holdover from the Ar uh, Ar Armeris Civil Wars. It's a nightmare to navigate without ground support. But don't worry, Sumi will get you there to the surface in one piece. Um, now I have updated a couple of the robots. We were running the glass cannon build in the last uh, episode. I did uh, find that as I moved up the ranks, it was a little bit more difficult to keep that going. The guys were just taking too much damage. It, it's sort of becoming like an attrition warfare so is somewhat. Like it's not about outgunning the other people because you're almost always outgunned. Um, you're almost always, you've got four mechs and everybody else seems to have six or seven plus tanks and everything else. So you can't really play those glass cannon builds. You might be able to put one in your back line if you really watch it, but then you've got a lot more damage going into all your front three. So what I've had to do is go back to putting the armor back into the front. I've still lowered the, the rear armor. Um except from the brawlers on the front end. Now, we did manage to pick ourselves up a heavy mech, a, uh, <laughs> what was it called? A cricket, I think it was. Um, was it a cricket? I can't remember what it's called. It's this funny name, I'll, I'll show you when we get in. Basically, it's a heavy cavalry skirmisher, but it's a heavy mech, it's 70 ton. Um, now, I've set this up as flat stick brawler. Um, it's close range, it's get in there, punch them. It's got a lot of in-close weapons that are automatic when you get in close. And it's basically built to overheat other mechs. Um, there's a lot of flames on it and lasers to overheat them when you get in close and, and just beat the crap out of them. Um, so yeah, I will show you. Uh, let's get in there and get started, shall we? Interface All right. So we've got Decker. Decker's being built out as our continues. Sorry, continues to be built out as our brawler. He's our tank, our front line. Um, we're definitely going down. You can see that that's reflected in bulk work here. So passive gain um, guarded, 50% damage reduction against range attacks to the front and side when remaining stationary. Uh, and now he's also picked up evasive movement. This unit generates an extra evasive charge from movement against uh, up to its maximum. So he, when he moves, he gets extra. So that's to help him get in close. Um, Good same go. with Dagger. That's our other defensive. Now these guys tend to take a bit of smashing. So Medusa, who's not here, is actually being built as, a, as the a B team, basically. Um, Belth has been set up as the, I mean, he's the commander. So I've set him up in a more snipey tactical way. He's got all the tactical abilities um, and, and he's been put down as a tactician. Uh, so he has sensor lock, he has multi-target and he hasn't picked up, oh, hang on, what's this one? Execute, oh, that's jump. He doesn't have jump jets. Uh, what else? Uh, precision strike, yes, he's got that one. I thought he picked up another one. Maybe not, okay. Um, and then you've got Glitch. Waiting on you, Glitch did pick up an arm, that's right. So she's got, uh, I believe, she doesn't, none of them have jump checks except Decker. And that's just to get him yes, in Commander. close quickly. Look at the, look at the, look at the gloriousness that is his weapons are on the right. So you've got the flamers, you've got four flamers. So as soon as you get in close, that's auto damage. It just automatically does it after your turn. And then I've got 
uh, what is it? Two small lasers as well that also auto damage. And then look at all those medium lasers. Now she does heat up fairly quick, but man, does she do some damage. And the whole point of it is, is that you're going to get in fairly quickly. You're only probably going to take one or two blow shots, and then you're going to get in and you're going to be doing melee damage mostly. This is what he's there for. He's built, he's just as much armor as I could put on him and maxed out all the frontal end armor. I still left a lot of the rear end armor on the back. I pulled it down a little bit just to get a little bit more weapons in, but not much. Um, it's He's the heaviest mech we have and he's our frontline mech. Um, yeah, and then you've got... What's up, boss? Uh, Dagger sitting in the, uh, the shotgun Centurion. Again, re-put all the armor on him. Uh, he's, he's running an AC-20. These things, wow, they do some damage. They are amazing. SRM-2, just to give... Uh, they're pretty good for missiles to do a bit of damage. A medium laser just to pull it out there. But really, the damage here is he's got 10 shots of just pure nasty damage in this AC-20. It is amazing. Um, Balth is running a PPC+. plus. We managed to get a plus, which basically means it's better PPC. A large laser, because they run about the same distance, as you can see here. And then LRM5 again, just to round it out and give him a little bit of extra um, harass. Good to go. Another AC20. Um, Glitch is really, actually, Glitch and Belt are really done for sniping. But I've put her in this, which is probably not the best choice. You probably should have gone in a sniping to really use her uh, ranged abilities more. But I wanted the firepower of the AC20s just to rock stuff. AC20s are... They're just incredible. Um, I really actually need to put more ammo in this because five just isn't enough. You blow through them really quickly. Okay. So, uh, now the first part of this mission is destroy the garrison units. There's five of them. And then we've got 15 rounds. So we've got to destroy the garrison units and take this base. And then I think we've got to get over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this building out here. Yeah, I think we're going to take this building out here. And maybe this one as well. Yeah, so both of those, I think. Oh, that one there. We're going to take out the dropship control center. Um, in order to stop them coming down, basically, is what we're going to do. So, let's get on it. And... Gonna move into cover. Sensors have something. Here we go. Now put vigilance on because I'm gonna want to move again, I think. Commander, I'm seeing Directorate SRM carriers on radar. Recommend engaging them in at long range. They'll take you apart and if the, uh, if you let them get close. Okay. Good call, I think. Um, yes, Commander. Dag has got the AC-20, so we're going to want to use those. As PPC. And that's one of them there, SRM carriers. Okay. 
What can I do for you? You can. Definitely don't want to move down here. Take out that SRM as quick as we can. Commencing Alpha Strike. How are you still alive? Okay, Decker. Receiving you. Is that a big boy? Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're going to want all of these, but we're definitely going to want a good number of them. <laughs> that's probably a little bit overkill. Okay, let's go. <laughs> all right, well, at least that's one. These, these things, apparently, Enemy according to her, packed a big punch, so we wanted her out of the way. We need to get obviously down here within 14 turns, so... The striker here. Invasion's holding. Okay, Invasion's still holding. Well, too bad. So they've got two more shots, but they do have the SRM, which is this one here. That's going to be the one that's hurt if we, uh, we get hit by it. Okay. Losing armor. Okay, that, that really chunked our armor down. It was not good. All right. Well, luckily we didn't cop all of that on the one bot. That was good. Thankfully, they split. Okay, so... How's it going? Dagger's got the AC-20 here, and we're going to really want to just wipe this out. Now let's see how you handle this. Yeah. That thing was lethal. One more for the trash heap. Okie dokie. And now Belth. We probably should have swapped Belth into the black jet. But too late now. Glitch. I hear ya. I don't want to waste the AC twenty on these little these little buggers. So what we might do is just go step on this Moving tank. Out. feel to have this foot coming down on top of you like that. Just, I mean, just knowing. That's a bit overkill. But just knowing that there's no way you're gonna survive it. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Okay. We're gonna need to Maybe shoot this in the back. You prick. That's right. It did. Uh, dagger. Hey there. No, no, step on him. 
Can you not step on him? Apparently not. Uh, I don't I really don't want to waste. I feel like we should just keep moving. Double time, let's go. Engaging the forces guarding that control center belt. Let's make these turrets count. Okay, so we've taken control of the turrets. And we're now in control of... Well, we're now in control of the turrets down here, by the sounds of it. Now... Commander? Moving to position. We're going to want to get rid of this stagger. So when we get here, we're going to do that and get rid of it. And that's us. Decker. Commander. You're going to move, yep. Up there, then we're going to brace. Let's try and get rid of this stagger. There we go. Ignore the turrets and concentrate your fire on those battle mechs. We must protect the control center. If our reinforcements can't land, we're all dead. Now fight. Fight for the di directorate. <laughs> I just keep saying. I keep going to say di uh, um, di <laughs> dictator. Doesn't matter. Okay. So, they're ignoring the turrets, which is not good for them because there's a lot of turrets down there by the looks of it. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Okay, so there's like two, four, six turrets down there. That's gonna that's gonna that's gonna put out some damage. Receiving you. Uh pretty big time, in fact. Yeah, so we're gonna wanna get down there fairly quickly. So we're all good. Light damage, Commander. All right. So the plan here, here, we better turn the screen a little bit. Okay, so we're heading down here. Now these turrets, by the looks of it, when they get a turn, are going to start shooting the mechs. What do we got here? We've got a dragon. Okay, so he's a heavy, uh, 60 tonner. Um, high. He'll have high armor, but not all his bugger all weapons. They're pretty useless. Hunchback. It's got a recruit in it. It's got a gunner in that one, so he's going to be firing a lot at us. What else you got? Centurion, tactician, cool. What else you got? Trebuchet, okay, and a gunner. Trebuchet, I think, I think it's a heavy. Um, what else? And a Jenna, okay. Pilot Jenna, radio, cool. Um, Waiting for orders. Glitch is close range and damage, so we're going to want to move you down here. Got it. These two are fairly, as well as heavily armoured as... They're more heavily armoured than Belth is. And Grasshopper, that's right, Grasshopper <laughs> took um, a bit of damage there, so we're not going to want... Oh, uh, you're going to want to... No, out of range. Vigilance, confirm, and yeah, should decrease. This thing is going to be firing at us all day and all night, although he is sitting in the middle of gun turret cities, so he's just going to be harassing us, but he is also going to cop a flogging. Okay, belt needs to pop down. 
need to start getting down as quick as you can. Now the Vindicator's actually got a fair amount of armor on it too. It's not it's not too shabby. The hunchback is like. So let's have a look and see what the armor is like. Can't tell yet. Okay, too far away. Um, Receiving you. All right, so Decker's back up and rolling. Now he he goes last. Uh, what can we do to get you further in the battle? That's just gonna get you shot at. It's not gonna. What are we? Yep. Oh yeah. That works. Cool. And we're going to... Yeah, we're definitely going to... Race. This, my guess is we're going to get incoming from everywhere. They look cool. They're just not very good. Well, they're on the, not in the law. Not, well, not in the... Um, Mech Warriors I played, the dragons were pretty average for many people who ever played them. Um, of course everyone wants to play the Atlas. Can't wait to get an Atlas. Oh, so he's getting shot. This is what I mean, he's sitting in the middle of like... Oh, they went after him. Cool. Oh! Okay. Copping it <laughs> all day and all night. All right, little panther. Okay, Centurio shotgun will be able to do it. Okay, glitch. Good to go. Now we just need enough room for everyone to get down. Right, Commander. Move and shoot. Well, that should put you. Hmm. I should think I'm going to brace rather than shoot. I'd rather get a little bit closer rather than wasting the AC twenties. Guard and we had evasion, so we didn't take too much damage. Uh, okay, um, yep. Okay, good. Just give me a bit of an overwatch position where I can sort of snipe at stuff. Which is exactly what we're going to do. Oh, that was terrible, Balth. You call yourself a gunner? Well, he's a tactician, but we also have gunnery skills. I don't know if you're going to get to me, mate. You're going to get shot to pieces by those guns. Standing by. All right, now you get down here and start doing what you're good at doing, shotgun. All right, so. Sixty percent. It's good enough. Face oh, twenty. Wow. Just peeled. Get wrecked. Are you? What are you doing? Are you running backwards? Okay. I believe it'll be. Uh... Okay. Total miss. That was lucky. It's an AC, uh, sounds like an AC 20. Uh, okay. Ready for orders. Here's our boy. Now he has lost a bit of, um,
I copy. We'll give it a go. Send a mass. Engaging. Okay. Reporting critical hit. Oh yeah, not too bad. We've got quite a lot of heat sinks on him, so. All right, allies turn. All right now, this should be our guns coming into play. This trebuchet is getting rocketed. Okay, two PPs, um, two PPC shots. Oi, la that's a large laser, two mediums. There goes the Jenna. Large, two mediums. Yeah. AC, PPC. It's putting a fair amount of damage out. That's pretty good. Well, the blackjack was braced, so that's not too bad. Cool. All right. Ready for order. Copy that. Should have actually gone into. Put it all into firing all weapons. Yeah, because that's where we want the AC rounds into the AC 20s into the heavy. Drop it as quickly as we can. A little bit of the evasion got peeled there, but not too bad. Okay, glitch. Waiting for orders. the AC-20. He's trying. A little bit of our evasion. That shot went internal. Okay. again. <laughs> well, we're lucky with those. That's not too bad. Okay, Dagger. No, move down. Yep. On the move. Now you're going to see something. Whoa. <laughs> so we just, we gave him 30 heat and plowed in the lasers. Oh, that one hurt. Okay. Too close. Barely hit, Commander. All right, so we're doing pretty well so far. Now the guns are going to fire. What's going to happen? That's the second one. 
in the back than a hunchback. Ouch. Two in the back. We're gonna do our work for us. Which is good. Little Panthers trying to get out of the direct line of fire, I think. Okay, so Dagger's up first. Get in and we're gonna Open get out. in there and melee it. Roger. Okay. It's a little hunchback seeing better days. Internal structure damage. Indeed. Uh, okay, so Belf. I feel like you need to start moving a little bit more, mate. We've got, what have we got? Eight rounds left. Let's finish this hunchy, if we can. Oh, come on, man. what was that? Some terrain coming around. Centurions, it's just a very good all round sort of uh, mech. Pretty strong, good brawlers, they can carry a fair bit of weapons, they've got good armor. It's all round, quite, quite good, I think. Uh, we really need to take care of this, and we're going to need to take care of this too. So, I'm going to send you. Good to go. Glitch. Which has got that AC 20 rounds. Don't think. Yeah, that'll do. Affirmative. And fire. firing everything I've got. Whoa, that was a good shot. That's a critical hit. Definitely a good shot, that one. Okay. Dragon's coming up to play. Yep, Damage okay. minimal. The problem there, mate, is I'm going to shoot you in the back. And not really have an issue with it. But, uh, actually, first I'm just going to flat stick attack you. Engaging. Inflicted some heavy damage. Good. Now we've got the allies with the guns. Going to take out the little panther. I'm assuming, maybe the hunchy. No, the, the dragon. I'm cool with either. Oh, that's it, yeah. <laughs> that's definitely it for you, my friend. In the back, two PPs. Clock is ticking and that dropship is getting close. I'd recommend that you prioritize targeting the control center, Commander. That was silly. Internal structure damage. Yeah, maybe, but I think the issue here is more what we got. I uh, feel like you. Is gonna get out of here. Uh, Glitch is gonna Commander? get out of here, I think. 
because we really need her to start moving towards taking this thing out. Double time. Okay, so that's what we want. Who's up? Belt's up. Um, long laser PPC, no good. Let's put some. Let's put All weapons committed. Let's go next time. That was a good one. Yes, Commander. And. Ooh. Finish it. I should have just stepped on him. Mech destroyed. My flamer is empty. Flame on. <laughs> I just got a machine we call Flame on. He's gonna. The only problem with this now is he's gonna shoot me in the back. Well, mm. Maybe not. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna hit me. Ouch. My armor's getting stripped off. Okay. Cheeky monkey. Ready. You know what you have to do? I mean, if that was a player, would have shot me in the I'm back. Under sure. heavy fire. That's okay. Uh, glitch. Waiting for orders. Keep moving, my dear. Oh, actually, we might need to get around there. Um. Belf. All weapons committed. Deck Waiting out. for orders. Flame is out. On my way. Targeting for physical attack. Down. <laughs> Not this dude's day. Getting stomped, getting <laughs> gooned. Oh. Yeah, I'd be running too, buddy. Warning. Armor low. Okay, uh... Waiting for orders. Mate, I'm gonna send you... On my way. Make sure that gets taken out. Valve. Put you in the brace, get rid of some of that heat. And Commander? I'm gonna be at a No. No. Okay, so I've gotta go around. Damn it. Right, Commander. It's alright, we got five turns, we should have more than enough. 
Deck it. Copy that. Howdy. Eat some green laser. Make sure you eat your greens. Okay, so this should good. be just a fairly wash, unless he gets a couple of lucky hits off or something. We should all be pretty safe here. Yeah. Ooh, missed on the second. You were lucky. What are you going to do? Hit me with a couple of lasers. Okay. Peel off a little bit of armor. I'm going over. Oh, wow. That was an unlucky hit. Ugh, Commander, man. I'm wounded. Ugh. Damn. All right. Well, I mean, we've been doing pretty well up until now. Affirmative. Luckily. No. No. No, okay. Uh, belt. Get a rear shot on him. Hopefully, a good rear shot should finish the job. All weapons committed. No. Critical damage detected. Unsteady, but still can't get him to go down. Good to go. All right. Come on, you. Get up that hill. Moving fast. Now, can anything? No, nothing can shoot him. Okay, so Commander. Decker, stand up. Yeah, All right. What can you do now? Ready for action. Aye, aye. Damn it. My mech is limping. Fall Critical down. Head, Commander. Come on. <laughs> that's what I mean. The Centurions, they're good. They take a punishment. Well, that's all the pilot's done. Commander, we're almost out of time. We can't afford to let enemy reinforcements land. You need to bring down that control center. It's all happening. Commander? Waiting for orders. Why? Oh, sprinting. Don't want to sprint. Got it. Well done, Commander. Miss Mayer, are you are inbound? Roger that, Lady Arano. I'm making an LZ on your screen. Commander, proceed to the designated coordinates for evac. Okay, wherever they are. Ah, right here. Cool. All right, Belf. Time for a run. I got. So it appears we saved the day. We didn't lose anybody, although I do believe we have one injured. Decker is injured. Not greatly, but still injured. It sucks a little bit, but oh well. Uh, I think we can get pretty much the same from moving, can we? It's limping. He's going to need a little bit of a repair. They're all going to need a bit of a repair. I think we get about a mil five for this one, something like that. Um, there should be some goodies here. I wouldn't mind getting that trebuchet. Um, or even another another uh, centurion would be nice as well. Let's do a vigilance. 
And a brace. And Heading you're out. there. And you're almost there. Oh, are you Four kidding me? I could have gone through there. Instead of going all the way around. There you have it. Okay. So not too bad. Roger that. He's limping back. Two in the LZ. Come on, Decker. Limp your ass back there. What about you jumping? Can you just... It'd be easier if you burn. just jump. Sort of. Sort of is the answer there. Roger. Venting heat and stabilizing. Good for now. Cooling down a bit. Aye, aye. And that should be it, ladies and gents. That's done it. All communication between the spaceport and the Directorate's reinforcements fleet just went down. Excellent. Dropship, Captain. Ground control, this is the Cronarch. We've lost you, loud clanging. Nav support is offline. Where are the damn tugs? Louder clanging. Alarm, klaxons, begins to land. Okay, so they're getting chopped up in space. Without ground support, their dropships won't be able to make planet fall. They'll be torn to pieces if they try. Congratulations, Belf. Panzer is as good as ours. Lieutenant Karen Andrus, and we have you to thank for it. Long live House Decimus, and long live Arana Restoration. Mission successful. Beautiful. So, not too bad, guys. Not too bad. Bit of a fun mission. Give me one second while I take a bit of a sip. Okay. All righty then. Next. Oh, yeah, one seven, so not bad. Uh, so, okay, Grasshopper took a bit of a pounding. We have to replace that leg. I don't think we lost any any major things. A little bit of damage in the blackjack, but nothing major. Shouldn't be too bad. Ooh, ooh. Look at this. Okay, so we get four pieces. Centurion, Centurion. We can make a Centurion. There's one dragon, one hunchback, panther, trebuchet. That's a 50 tonner. It's a medium mech. Hmm. Fire support. One of the lightest dedicated fire support mechs to be found. The trebuchet can mount enough missiles to give even heavy units pause. However, Trent... Trench buckets are known for running hot and don't have much in the way of protection. So that's a back of the bus kind of attacker. It's the first one I've seen though out there. Be interesting. Um, skirmish from Brawler Dragon. Is a, beef, um, is a beef machine that can take serious beating but tends to be a, light, a bit light on weaponry. It moves fast for a heavy mech though, which makes it well suited for closing for melee attacks against slower targets. Let's get it. Why not? Um, the Hunchback, medium. Juggernaut and close assault. Hunchback 4G is a tried and tested juggernaut on the field. One of the lightest mechs to mount such a massive auto cannon. It is capable of destroying some lighter units in a single volley. It tends to mount heavy armor to boot. Hmm, interesting. 50 ton. 
Uh, Brawler and General Assault, AL variant of the tends to trade the larger burst damage of the auto cannon for more energy weapons and heavier armor. AL's can take an incredible amount of damage for their size but still pack a good punch. I'm... I mean we can take one piece of a trebuchet and one piece of a dragon or I can take all of and get another Centurion which is a really good backup mech for us. Which I think that's what we're going to do because I'd rather have a backup mech for the fights again uh, to come. Hang on, what do we got there? Centurion, Centurion, Centurion. And you know, hopefully we get maybe the Hunchback or the Trebuchet. Have we got anything else in here that's worth? One medium laser with a bit of extra damage. Ooh, that SRM4 would have been nice. Still. Anything else? No? Well, let's hope we get a heap of bits randomly. Let's hope we get the uh, one of the other mech parts. Maybe the, like the trebuchet or the hunchback. And uh, maybe the, hopefully that... Um, what did we get? Oh, we got the hunchback? We got the hunchback. Okay, that's not too bad. Did we get... We got the, the laser? Cool. Oh, we got the... Oh, that was a score and a half. We did well. We did really well. What a great roll. That's fantastic. Uh, withdraw from a contract is a smart option if it looks like the payout won't be worth the repair bills. Hmm. They're cool. There are, there has actually been a couple where I've gone in and gone, wow. Achievement unlocked, house decimus restored. Okay. We've done it, Balth. Thanks to your efforts, the Restoration Army has broken the Directorate's hold on Panzia. Lord Pierre-Louis Decimus has already pledged his house and his system to my service. The restoration is growing, just as we hoped it would. And with his, with his support, you gain territory, soldiers, and a bolstered supply chain. Not a bad deal for you, Lady Arano. Or for House Decimus. The Directorate took a scorched earth approach to Panzia's farmland. Without our ongoing support, the people here would starve. I'm not my uncle Darius, and restoration gives as much as it takes. That's commendable Lady Arano, but it may not be sustainable. It isn't like they have much of a choice. Letting them starve would be terrible, and your people will love you for it. That's for them to decide either way. I'll continue feeding them for as long as they need it. I meant what I said when we liberated Wildery. These people are my responsibility, and I will help them no matter the cost. This is all very nice for you to say that, Miss Kamea, but uh, you're not fitting the bill. Another nation is. Uh, it's victory to be sure, but we're still a long way from Cormedia and Director Espinoza only just began to marshal his forces. Things are going to get a lot more difficult as we push forward. Smithen, the Directorate's military capabilities appear to be way out of line with our initial estimates. Somehow, they've gained access to weapons and battle mechs that are totally foreign to the Oregon Reach. Where do you think all this hardware is coming from? We don't know. House Espinosa has always had contacts with the Inner Sphere. Lady Victoria's personal battle mech is a prototype model that's almost impossible to find outside of Dracronus the Draconis Combine. But this radical new military build-up is something else entirely. Wherever these weapons are coming from, it's a recent development and a troubling one. Hey Lord Madeira, um, uh, sorry to interrupt, but there's something here that you may want to see. Actually, you may all want to see this. I found something strange on the Argos nav computer. Why don't I like the sound of that? I'm gonna need some clarification on that, Doctor. Is there anything on this ship that isn't strange? <laughs> Let's go with com comedy. Probably not, but this is, you know, stranger than the norm. Looks like an encrypted data archive on our secondary storage drive. That's just my best guess, mind you. Star League era encryption software isn't really my area of expertise. My father spent years trying to figure out how to get the Argo back to the Oregon space in one piece. He was obsessed with this ship. He felt that it was important somehow. And now this, I want to achieve... I want that archive open, Dr. Murad. I need to know what's inside. With all due respect, Lady Arano, whatever's on that drive was sealed away for a reason. I've heard enough stories about lost tech treasure hunting to know that it's a bad idea. So why don't you just leave well enough alone? 
because this archive could contain something of value and because I, as I previously mentioned, I was a personal connection with this ship. I believe this is this discovery is meant to lead us somewhere and I intend to follow it. It's a Star League era data archive, of course we should try and open it. We shouldn't let this distract us. Superstition isn't a valid leadership strategy. Mm, it's true. Lady Rano is our client, Maya. If she wants to check this thing out, then that's what we're going to do. And we're mercenaries, so she's footing the bill. Uh, this is what I want, yes, and thankfully, we can follow this lead and pursue our campaign against the Directorate at the same time. The liberation of House Car Carosas, Carosas Sass, on Smithen is already the Restoration's next objective, and Lord Simon Carosas was my father's chief technologist. Securing the help we need will cost us nothing that we weren't already planning to pay. Perhaps this is just a con coincidence, Miss Meyer, but I cannot help seeing the hand of fate work here. Mastiff taught me to pay heed to my intuition, and that is what I intend to do. What do you think this look has will be able to open the archive? Let's plan then after we just look. He's a hard man who doesn't suffer fools gladly. That said, he's also quite brilliant, a noble with the mind of a scholar. His, his adult children, Otto and Lena, were much the same. Difficult at times, to be sure, but fierce allies to House Arano. Because he knows lost tech better than anyone in the Reach. In the days of my father's reign, whenever scraps of forgotten technology were discovered in the Reach, they'd be taken to Smithen for cataloguing and study. If there are answers to be found, we'll find them with him. Yes, Belt, and shortly after we will see if my father's intuition about the Argo was justified. As for, as, bef as before, I will contact you when we are ready to move on Smithen. For now, I'll take my leave of you. I have nobles to placate and an army to rally, and you have your own contracts to pursue, I'm sure. Yes, we do, Lady Arano. We're keeping busy, just as you asked us. You all heard her. We've got time, got some time before the next leg of the restoration offensive. Our client wants us to make the most of it. This is money, so let's get back to work. Sorry, time is money. Lady Arano's people scoured the spaceport and found a jackpot. Commander, decommissioned griffins, lost of uh, lots of them. They'll never get them working with the repair facilities they've got but between my team and the Argos mech bay I think we might. You can find them in the shop here on Panzer. Griffins. Okay. That mech you wanted is back online. Hey we got a Centurion CN9AL. Yeah okay that's what we read before. All right. Now one of these is gonna have to get put away and I think it's definitely not going to be the grasshopper, so it's probably going to be the blackjack. So we want to send. Oh, hang on. We want to send him to the storage. Uh, why won't you allow me to send? Why can't you go to storage? Apparently you can't. All right, so you can go to storage for now. All right, okay, so what we'll do is we'll have a quick look at the new Argo ship because uh, we didn't really have a good look at it last time. So I have a quick look at that. So let's go into the command center. So here you got contracts. So we can go after our next contract, which will probably be this one by the looks of it. Uh, a wanted war criminal has been spotted in Wildery. Unfortunately, he appears to have integrated himself into a pirate-aligned mercenary company. We need you to track him down and destroy his mech. If he ejects, we'll take him into custody to be tried before a restoration court. If not, no harm done. You'll be paid all the same. <laughs> okay, dead or alive. <laughs> Excellent. So, um, what else have we got? We got Darius. Uh... Commander Voidwalker, I'm sorry about, about what happened in Wildery with Sir Raju and all. If only we'd known, I'd have invaded the Directorate myself to get him back, but now that's too late. You said you knew Mastiff. You thought you fought beside him. I won't go through all this, guys, because it, it does get a little bit... If you do want me to go I'll through it, it, then leave some comments, and I'm happy to go through it. But I won't go through it for now. I'll do the more normal stuff. So look in the barracks. Ready for so order. Decker... 
He's out. How long is he out for? Um, injured. I'll find out somewhere else. So he has got points to spend. And we can now put him up to Juggernaut. Successful melee attacks knock your target back. One initiative phase. Yeah. Training confirmed, Commander. That's our boy. All right. What have you got for me, Belf? Can just go up a little bit here, but we'll wait and we'll try to get in uh, Master Tactician. Mechs pilot by this Mech Warrior gain one to initiative and remove one bar from stability damage when reserving. That's cool. Orders. You got anything worth doing? Not yet. Not yet. I hear ya. Glitch has just got her, so she's good. So Medusa will jump in for Decca unless he heals in time for our next showdown, which probably won't. To be fair. Okay, cool. So that was the barracks. We'll go to the mech bay. Hey, so this is our new mech bay. All righty then. So what we will do is we're going to do a refit. Okay. Wasn't a lot of repair all. Yep, okay. And we're going to put this guy... We're going to go out. Confirm. This mech is too badly damaged to safely lock it down for long-term storage. You must repair the existing structure before you can... Okay. Confirm. So repair. Repair it. Cool. This one... Oh, we're going to have to refit. Okay, we're going to have to replace the leg. So what do we lose? Two jump jets, two heat sinks. That was it. That's cool. We can put that in easily enough. And 11, that'll go back in. Where are our equipment? Heat sink, heat sink. And we need two jump jets. Let's go check out the store. Equipment. Bye. New equipment available. Oh, hang on. Uh, jump jets, funnel, superheated air, okay, so there's H, J, okay, slots, jump jets, okay, that's cool, uh, I'm not really sure, W30, okay, new equipment available, we'll head back, let's have a look, what are the jump jets, it's got H's in there at the moment, Slots one. So what's the difference is the question. Oh, it should be equipment. Okay. Obviously we're going to need H's by the looks of it. So if we go to the store. Don't know what we were buying. Um, equipment. H. Mechs from 60 to 85 tons. Okay, I didn't miss that. New Except. Available. Except. Okay, we'll go back. Okay, so we got a two jump jets back. So I think what we might do is the flamers worked well, but they didn't work as well as I would have liked. Um, so what we might do is we might pull the flamers out for now and go with some more lasers okay that's a lot of damage confirm cancel uh, we still got some weight left after pulling those out. Okay, so two, 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 two. two. What do we got? We got two tons. What can we put in there? How many slots does this take? Slots one. Seventy tons. 
Mmm. What is it? Stand 180. It certainly adds to the firepower, doesn't it? But we need some ammo for it, won't we? Um, we can probably take out some of the heat sinks because heat wasn't really a massive problem for us. Okay. We're at 69. Hmm. We'll put in one more of those. Put back in one of the heat sinks. 70 tons. Okay. How are we going? Firepower is ridiculous. Heat efficiency is not great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so with the added lasers, by the looks of it, we're going to need to put in more heat sinks, which is fine. That's cool. So, seventy tons. Heat efficiency is not amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but look at that firepower. Wow. Melee is really good, which is great. Range is terrible, but that's fine because that's not what it's for. It's it's basically built just to get in close and damage stuff. Um, the closer you get with this thing, the more damage it's going to do. So let's continue that and we'll give it a go. We'll see how it works out. Right. Um, I'll get it in the schedule. It's the, I mean, the thing is, once you get close enough, you're just going to be wailing on them with your fist. So it's not about standing back and doing shots. It's about you're going to get a couple of shots in like we did before, and then we're going to get in close and just brawl with them. It's our heaviest, uh, it's our heaviest guy. And we should call him something, shouldn't we? I really think that we should change the name, which... Where can I do that? Doesn't matter. We'll come back to that. Okay, so that's that guy. That's that guy. Oh, as soon as he gets out, we're going to swap him for another one of these guys. I'll probably actually put away the commando. Might put him into storage. Confirm. And then... Storage. We've got to... Out of the mediums, we've got... A centurion is full. We're going to sure ready the thing. centurion. We'll see that it's prepped and ready. Excellent. Okay. There's not much we can do. I don't think we can fit him out until he gets up there. Okay, so that's the mech bay sorted. Engineering. This is where you can upgrade the ship and get little, like, cool upgrades. So, um, like, uh, you know how it was when you're looking on the Argo on the outside? She's still, she's not too bad. I've done a little bit of the repair, but you can see she's still <laughs> missing quite a lot of bits. I mean, she's been sitting in, on a crash land on a planet for a while, so we're running around a bit of a skip at the moment. So let's do some upgrades. Um, this is the final structural one, which gives us everything. So we might just get that one going. We'll get it done. And yeah, cool. Uh, navigation. So navigation's pretty cool. I mean, we can chat with her, but that's not all that great fun. So this is now our sort of, this is the battle map, if you will. And so over here, we have the, uh, the Federated Sons. This is the Capella, uh, the Capellan Confederation, who we're doing a bit of fighting with. This is, this is the, was the uh, Aurarian region or Aurigan Directorate now. So this is the Aurigan space. This is the um, Turian Concordate. And this big purple lot here is the, um, what is it called? It's something. What's it called? It's not the planetary domain. I can't remember what it, it's something else. I can't remember what it's called. Ah, uh, this one here is the magistracy of Canop Magistras Magistras I couldn't say this at the start, and I still can't say it. Basically, they're the guys that are funding us, and this seems like maybe neutral space. Uh, Free Worlds League. Right, so, I mean, this was our little deal. We weren't a big empire to begin with, by the looks of it. And uh, what it looks like is these guys, these two might be going at it. That's what they're talking about. And this is our little burgeoning empire here. So we've started bringing in planets to our little empire and we're slowly eating away at them, which is cool. 
Okay, so that's the map there. So from here, we we can travel to this location. Cold world with thin atmosphere that's only breathable in the lowlands and valleys. The highlands are barren, windswept, uninhabited ice. Okay, so that's good. So overheating is going to be less of a problem. Um, elements do play a big major factor in this one. And then we go to the captain's quarters, which hasn't changed much. We can change the look of our mechs, but I'm happy with the color. In here, you can go in and you can change the, uh, you can change the crest. There's quite a few crests. I think I showed this in the first one. And then you can change the color pattern, but I'm pretty good with it. Okay. Uh, and then you can do reputation. So we've got it getting a good, obviously, with the, the Arano restoration and a fairly good one with the uh, Magistracy. This is our mercenary review board. As this goes higher, we can hire better and better uh, mercenaries. So better and better pilots. Um, so that's cool. And so, yeah, this is all sort of going up. Uh, we must have done some work for the Capellans at some stage too. Cool. And then I think finances, just talk about our finances, how much we're spending each month. Um, estimated salary costs and then estimated running costs. So it's pretty cool. All right, guys. Uh, I'm probably going to call it there for this episode. Thank you very much for watching as always. Um, as always, guys, if you liked what you've seen and you want to keep seeing more, uh, they seem to be becoming more and more popular, this particular series, as it goes along, people sort of pick up the channel. We're still growing, guys. Um, it's, it's a great journey so far. I mean, we've only been going for, what is it, just a, a month now. Um, and in the first month we've gotten to, I think we're at 12,000 page followers and likes on the Facebook page. We're at about 23 followers for YouTube. It's a lot slower. Um, we're, we're sort of more driving on Facebook. Um, I think we're at about 140 people following on Instagram, which is cool. Which, and that grows. It's growing every day, which is really cool. Uh, and I think we've got about 100 and something on Twitter that's following us and sort of watching the stuff. So the channel's growing. I'm hoping, I'm hoping you're enjoying the content and really liking it. Um, don't forget to leave messages. Um, in the description there's a place where you can drop a message drop a like whatever love hearing from you guys any feedback you've got if you think i could do something better or you just you know you just want to say hey it's good or you know maybe there's a game you'd like me to let's play or walk through i'm happy to do that um yeah anyway thank you very much as, as i always say uh if you're watching on youtube leave a like subscribe and uh click the little bell for all the updates if you're watching on facebook then please leave a like follow the page uh, you can also share the page with mates. That'd be cool. Um, you can follow us on Instagram as we discussed, and you can also follow us on Twitter at Dog Shadow Gaming. Uh, thank you very much. Have a lovely night. See ya.